It's the grandson of right thought. So if y'all been following along lately, we've been talking about the body and about how all along Abba Yah wanted you to bring your body into alignment with his will so that he could pour his spirit into you and you could live. Remember, the last enemy to be destroyed is death. And we will be saying, where is death? Where is this thing of death? Isn't that written? Because see, we'll be filled with the spirit of the Father and death will have no power over us when it passes over. He says he's going to do it spiritually this time. He's going to pass over this land. I warned you all that mass death is coming, didn't I? He's going to pass over and death is going to claim its victims. Okay? It's called the terrorists being bound up and burned. So... Remember the Israelites painted their doorpost of their house. House means body. So they painted the doorpost of their house and the lentils with the blood of Christ or and then a blood of a lamb. The Israelites did that. Symbolizing the blood of Christ. Truth. Cover your body, your chakras in truth. That's what we've been talking about. So that when the angel passes over, he'll see the blood and he'll pass you. Don't y'all see that? Because that's what's coming. Y'all understand that? That's the only way you'll survive this. Anyone who's listening to me today, where, whatever country you're from, whatever race you may be, whatever. If you have a body, you should be listening to me. Death is coming to claim its victims. And when it passes over that ever flowing scourge, that overflowing scourge, the only way you will survive is you must be the cup which holds the spirit of the most high in it. Covered in truth. Abiyah is only allowing his creation to enter in. Anything that is altered, defective, degenerate, it will not enter in. He's already told y'all that. Who's ever using their body incorrectly won't enter into life. And that's actually what it is. Y'all thinking it's all kind of other stuff. I'm telling you the truth right now in plain clarity. It's your body that you're in and how you're using it. It's speaking to you every day. Which one are you listening to? The righteous or the wicked side? Which one has jurisdiction in your body? Now we're going to talk about the Illuminati. That's something that scares a lot of people that are so-called Christians and so-called believers. They get scared when they hear the word Illuminati. The symbolism, the, them putting the triangle up over their eye. And remember I showed you that star which represents war? The one triangle pointed upward and the one triangle pointed downward. So you have a right side and you have a wrong side. So when the voices are speaking to you, one is saying something wrong and one is saying something right. Well, let thine eye be single. Remember, you have two eyes. One is looking down, listening to that voice down there, and one's looking up. You're cockeyed. <laughs> you understand that? That's how you are. You may think you got two eyes looking straight in the 3D, but spiritually, your eyes one up, one down. That's how you actually look. And the, the fake Jews want to keep you in that state, so that's why they put that as their symbol. And anybody you see with that symbol, wearing that symbol, is also a, a, an agent doing the same thing to you, keeping you stuck in the wrong flesh. You see? In the wrong body, keeping you stuck in your flesh body, keeping you thinking fleshly. Period. That's what it means. That's what that symbol represents. So you notice the Illuminati, they put that over their eye. Like I said, a lot of people get worried and scared think it's going to do something by doing that. All they're communicating to each other is the fact that they have been enlightened in their world. One of those triangles represents your world and one of those triangles represents theirs on that star. They call the Star of David, they call it. The star you see on the Israeli flag, one represents ours, one represents them at war. They're telling their own to let their eye be single. That's why they're covering one eye. They're saying to each other, let your eye be single. That's why they call themselves the enlightened ones, because they are they the ones that know the same secret I'm telling you, but their world's version. 
Do y'all hear me? Do you feel me? To the pure, all things are pure. I could put my triangle right over my eye and say, let thine eye be single, because that's where they took it from, the truth. Yahusha did that when he told people to let thine eye be single. He did the same thing. Oh, they would call me, I'm a devil for saying that. But I'm telling you that that's the truth. Let thine eye be single. You got two eyes. He's going to cover one and say, let your eye be single. We have one eye. You got two eyes. One is distorted. One's looking down. So the one that's looking up, become one with that one. Both eyes. See? The partition between the two is broken down in the truth, and they both become subject to the, to the truth, which means both the eyes look up now to the truth. The other eye was looking down because he was worshipping the devil in the pit, the bottomless pit, the destroyer, Abaddon. He was worshipping him. So every time he would say to destroy something or kill something or lie, that eye would be listening. That's the side of you that's like, uh, fighting. Oh, uh, I should do it, but I don't know. I don't know. That's the eye they're saying, let be single. Don't you feel me? Don't you hear this? So they consider themselves to be the Illuminati because they're saying, our eye that's looking down to the pit, we've made that our single eye. We don't listen to the truth. Now, judge the world based off of what you see and see if they run from truth or they embrace it. You ask a man a question, that's a yes or no question, he says yes or no. Is that what you see in the world or do you see a man going to a whole long ass Mo uh, monologue about the damn question you asked. That's because they made their eyes single. They don't adhere to truth. They don't listen to truth at all. You are at war in there. They're not at war with themselves. They've decided. That's why they're considered themselves to be illuminated. Just like you would be if you made your eyes single. You'd be the true illuminated. They're the false illuminated. So that's why they, they what do they have? Money, wealth, this world's good. Isn't that what they have? All the media, all the artists, all of the movie stars, all of the everything of this world that's considered fame, glamour, and glory, the Illuminati have it. Because they are enlightened as to how to gain earthly riches and wealth and vanity. That's their God is vanity. That's why they'll never be filled. They'll chase, 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 chase and run right off the cliff into death. So you have decided to take your eye that was looking down and fighting and lift it up to the truth and say, nope, it's just true, man. Ain't no need in fighting. You and me in here, what the hell are we fighting for? The truth is greater than both of us, ain't he? Now, let's see if that happens to you. You remember when Christ hung on the cross to show you this. See, Christ is a man wandered at, which means he's a sign. So this is going to happen inside of each and every one of us. Where Christ will be on the cross and, and you on the right hand that admits it and says the truth, which is the righteous side, the triangle that's up. He's the eye that's up. He's saying, man, you're the man. I submit to you as truth. And Christ said, today you shall be with me in paradise. Ain't that what he said? So you'll be one with me. Where I am, there you shall be. Okay, so now I've become one with your body. Now the one that said, oh man, save yourself. That's the eye that's looking down. Can't you see? And then don't you see them speak to each other? Don't you see the one correct the other one? And say, hey man, this man did no wrong. We hanging here for our own wrong deeds. And do you see the guy argue back anymore? That's your wicked side. Your righteous side said, hey, man, we both wrong. We both is falling short of this guy, Yahusha. <laughs> he's greater than I am. And he's greater than you are, isn't he? And that guy's like, yeah, well, if he was, he'd save himself and save us, too. That's what he's doing. Your other half. If he was so great that he'd save us. And then the other side said, hey, man, this is what we getting. We deserve this shit. You a thief. You've been stealing from the body, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I guess I, I did. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. So ain't we getting what we deserve? Well, yeah, I guess you're right. I can't complain about it. All right, then. So submit to the truth, too, brother. There you have it. So that side dies. See? That one that's talking all the shit, he don't talk no shit no more. He's become dead. In other words, quiet. 
He doesn't talk anymore. His voice is not accepted at the table anymore. So he's become a dead thing. And that's what's going to happen on this earth. Don't you see it? The body. I told you land means body. This thing you live on is a body. It's a living, breathing organism. Did you know that? <laughs> so like I said, this is going to happen in the world. The righteous, the elect of the world are on the right hand of Christ. See, saying we submit, we believe he is great. And the other world, the Gentiles out there in the world are going, ah, we don't believe in Jesus, man. If he was, he do this, he'd come down and he'd do this and he would kill all the wicked people and he blah, 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 blah. See. And then their voices are going to be silenced and they're going to be wiped off the earth. And we're going to become one man in Christ. See? Simple as that, man. So when they're doing their little world and they're all Illuminati and all the big ass stacks of money they count and all the jewelry and the nice ass clothes and everything God says he can't stand. That he said he said he tell you to stay away from, don't he? See? So then the true illuminated ones are the ones that have made their eyes single with the truth. Now let's see which one which eye is more powerful. I told you they're at war. One going up and one going down. Let's see which one is more powerful. <laughs> their eye is going down. Ours is going up. Can't you see it? <laughs> so, you have two eyes in your head before I finish this message. You have two eyes in your head, right? Though, they're giving you one picture, aren't they? See? <laughs> your eye is single. So eventually, when it is thought or a feeling come to you, you're going to decide what you're going to do, aren't you? When you make the decision, that means that your eye was single. The two became one flesh. That's what happens when you look into the world. Your two eyes are becoming one flesh, aren't they? You're using them as one. You're not using them as two different things. You're using them as one thing, aren't you? Okay. It's not like one eye gives you color and the other eye gives you the shape of things and depth and shit. Nope, you're getting them all as one picture. So the same thing goes when a man and a woman have sex. They're doing, they're agreeing on one thing. See? That's why he says, the two shall become one flesh. This is a mystery. That's what he says. But the two become one. It means when they agree. Your eyes are agreeing at what they're looking at. That's why you see a clear picture. When they don't agree, shit get fuzzy and all separated. See, so when a man and a woman, a man trying to have sex with a woman or vice versa, and one of them like, no, nah, I'm good. He run like Joseph did from Potiphar's wife. Then they get separated. They, 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 it doesn't become in focus. They don't become one flesh. They are separated like oil and water. See, because they don't agree. Joseph is in truth and she's in a lie. Now, is she in truth if she has a husband and she's trying to lay with Joseph or is she in a lie? So then what did she turn around and do? She made her eye single, didn't she? She said he raped her accused him of rape after she has tried to seduce him see how her eye is single in her world and did it succeed for a time yeah Joseph went to prison so her little story worked her husband thought she was a virtuous woman and all kind of shit for all that time I'm sure but Joseph came up out of that prison just like he came up out of that pit we're going to go up. What does the revelation say? Come up here. <laughs> you see that? So we up, we up, we up, yeah. 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 <laughs> we up today, y'all. Make thine eyes single. And don't worry about these little things they're putting them eye over that. That's your shit. They just tried to steal that shit. They used to hate on you when we used to walk around doing that shit. <laughs> Back in the world, shit was righteous. We was walking around doing that shit to one another as saying hello and shit like that. It's a, it was a greeting to us. 
But now they want to flip it around and yeah, yeah, it's wicked and it's dark and we've made it our own. And no, 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 no. A lie can't do nothing but pervert truth, nigga. It can't create nothing new. It can only pervert what's already been done. Look at the terrors of this world. Watch TikTok and, and let's see. One person that's actually a, a wheat will do something or create something. And then all of the terrors will go in like fashion and copy that shit like a trend. So who made the eye over, I mean, the triangle over the eye and said, let thine eye be single? We did. But they tried to twist it. That's all they can do. And make a mockery, just like they did with the flag. The, the, the flag represents the chakras of the body. Don't you notice their flag is upside down? Look at all the pictures of their flag, and then I'll, show, I'll bet you the red is at the top. Isn't that upside down? See how they're blatantly doing it? Now, if it was right side up, wouldn't it be righteous? So then flip your shit right side up, nigga. That's simple. It ain't wicked. Just flip it up. Soon as you can have an outfit on right now, like a coat of many colors like Joseph, you could be wearing that right now and look just like a rainbow, but the purple at the top and the red at the bottom of your garment. Somebody look at you and say, man, what are you, gay or something? What are you, LGBTQ? What are you, for, what are you for pride or something? And you go, no. They say, well, why are you wearing that? Go, look at it closely. Now, get me a pride flag. I'm going to put it up next to this. You notice the difference? Oh, shit. Y'all see that shit? Y'all see that shit? So the heart represents the earth. That's why it's green. I want y'all to listen close to this mystery I'm about to unveil to you. Look at the earth. What color is the sky? Isn't it blue? Which way do you have to look to see the blue? Do you have to look down or up? You have to look up to see the blue. You see that? To see the blue, the indigos and violets at night. The real true sky. That's not sprayed and everything and tampered with. You have to look up to see those colors, right? Now, where are the, I told you the earth is green. That's where you're standing on the green earth. That's why I said earth is Jerusalem. See? See? The earth. The green chakra, the heart. That's where we are waiting to be redeemed. See? The earth. Aren't we? Okay. Look up for your redemption draws nigh. Does he say look down? <laughs> See? See y'all? Look up. You see how Abba's doing this? Do y'all see it? Do y'all feel it? Do y'all feel like I feel about Abba's mysteries being unsealed so beautifully and so effortlessly? Do y'all? Look up for your redemption draws nigh. Now, if you're standing on the earth, then that means what about your chakras in your body? I'm going to let y'all figure it out. Look at the colors. There are some colors that are above you and there are some colors that are beneath you, aren't there? Now, what colors are beneath you? So you see how he said he was to do all things in heaven and in earth. So, and beneath the earth as well, under the earth. So those chakras beneath the green chakras, in other words, is what he's saying to you, will be made subject to me too. You notice the red chakra? You notice where it's at? Now, what color was Esau? He came out what color? Is he rejected by God? So he's the bottom. Now you see how they flipped it and made him the top? Red? Esau? They made him the top of this world? Look at the flag that they have. Pride. Is it the top of their fucking flag? So guess who's at the bottom? Mm-hmm. He says, look up for your redemption come from there. Well, they made him the bottom of their flag. That's why I told you flip it back upside, right side up, and claim your truth back. Fuck what they've tried to make a mockery of. Claim your truth back. The rainbow belong to us. It's a covenant that belong to us. And if you don't have a rainbow on, then your ass is desolate. If you don't have the coat of many colors with the purple at the top and the red at the bottom, then your ass is desolate. If you got red at the top, your ass is going to die. And look how many people are so proud to say they have their red at the top. They are flipped upside down. They have their ass at their head and their head at their ass. And they're proud to say it. You see, they've decided, so it's time you decide and look up for your rainbow. I just showed you that the glory of the Most High is revealed as a rainbow. 
I showed you the scripture and proved it to you. And when Ezekiel saw it, he fainted. It was so it was so magnificent to behold. When I was in the 40, I'll share this with you guys. I haven't told anybody this other than one a person. I'll tell it with you. I'll share it with you guys. When I was in the 40, it was about the 37th day of the 40. So I was in a state of peace. Be still. I had overcome all of the nightmares and all of the, the demons and all of the devil in my ear and all of that. So it was a great calm had come at this time in the 40. 37 days in. I'm just basically just getting these last three days out. Just biding my time. Kicking it with Abba saying what else he got to drop on me before I leave. Well, one night I'm, I'm asleep. I'm laying there on the ground and I'm sleeping. And I get lifted in the air. <laughs> And as I'm being lifted in the air, it's just completely black all around me. I'm lifted so high, it's just completely black all around me. All of a sudden, a skull appears before me. And it's flashing all the colors of a rainbow. A skull. And then I thought about Christ's words, and I knew that they were fulfilled in me when it says, He was crucified at the place of a skull, in the Hebrew called Golgotha. The meeting place is in your skull. <laughs> in your skull. <laughs> and it was flashing like a rainbow. And that mouth opened up. And when it opened up on that skull, I felt great relief inside of myself. Because when that mouth opened up, a bunch of mire came out of the mouth. And then I heard a voice speak to me and says, isn't that better? And I said, yes, much better. I f when, the, when the mire came out of the mouth of that skull, I felt the relief. And Abba later revealed to me that that was the moment that I was pure, cleansed completely. At the 37th day, Abba revealed his face to me face to face as a rainbow skull <laughs> which was my own which represented like i showed you guys in my video remember i showed you you have to have the, the mark on your head the rainbow that's what i was looking at i had the mark of abba on me and the, all the mire that was on me the filthy garments as it says were washed away and i felt the relief of it So do you understand this, guys? <laughs> Are y'all rejoicing in the spirit today? You're going to get your rainbow crown on your head today? Are you? Or are you going to take the mark of the beast? See, because they're both fighting for your forehead. Don't you see that? They're both fighting for your crown. You see? Corona. 19. 2019. Oh, looky there. <laughs> The war is on for the crown, you see, for your crown. So whose mark are you going to bear today? If I were you, I would be bearing the right side up rainbow while they bear the upside down rainbow. Silawam Israela.